Leaky toilets, Richard. How many have you seen in Co your day? A couple. A couple thousand. <laughs> I bet. You know, a toilet is a big water consumer in any house, but it's even worse when you have these insidious leaks inside the toilet tank itself because you won't see them on the floor, but they will continue to use water all day, all night, yeah. and it means a lot of water consumption. Okay. So I thought we would just take a little primer on how a basic toilet works. Okay, it has two parts. One is the bowl, one is the tank. Inside the tank, there are two important components. One is the flush valve, and that makes the water leave the tank, and the other is the fill valve. Mm -hmm. So when I lift the tank lever, the flapper opens, and now all the water that's in the tank will come down into the bowl suddenly, create enough of a siphon action to scour that bowl clean and send yep. it to drain. And then as this tank emptied, that little device that opened falls back down, That's right. seals it up so we can refill the That's tank. That's right. And then this device has only one job. The fill valve just has to do that. It has to refill that tank to the right level. Okay. So the most common problem inside these tanks is in this flush valve, and that is in the flapper itself. You see this flapper right here? Yep. It can get worn over time. So, so this is the part that when the tank lever lifts, this has a little float on it to get it out of the way so the water will leave the tank suddenly. Rushes through there That's into right, the bowl. Down the bowl. And then it wants to drop. Well, over time, this part, it's a rubber part, it can get worn. And so now what happens is water will just drip, drip, drip. So the replacement is pretty straightforward. You turn off the water down here, and now this has two little ears Okay, you see them right here? Yeah. And so that we'll bring a new one in. Okay, and you'll clip it on. But you're only half done. Now, a really important part is to adjust this chain. Now, the chain comes in links with a little hook at the top. Now, if you put this onto the tank lever and you made it too taut, look what would happen. You'd have that little tiny leak underneath the here. The same issue as if it was worn, okay? Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure it's not too taut, but conversely, if you made it too loose, you could activate the tank lever, but it wouldn't lift it enough yeah. to make it flip out of the way and flush, okay? Yeah, yeah. So this has to be just the right length, and there's those chain links so you can make it just right. So this is one place where we can have That's a right. leak. You're talking about other places? Absolutely. The other part of this flush valve is the overflow right here. Now, this is an important safety device. If this fill valve was ever bad, what would happen? Water could continue to rise, mm -hmm. the flappers hold it, and now you could flood a house completely away, so you've got to make sure that that's there. You'd see that leak. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but the way, what you want to make sure is that the setting of this fill valve makes the water level be about one inch down from the top of this overflow. Mm -hmm. Now, what I find happens is sometimes people don't adjust this correctly. Now, the adjustment is pretty straightforward. And what will happen is, if the water level is too high, Watch this. It keeps filling the tank Correct. past where it should. Yep. So now if you ever lifted off a toilet tank and you saw this condition right here, see this? What happens is the water could just keep drip, drip, dripping down into the bowl and down the drain, keeping that water meter spinning. Essentially leaking through the overflow. Right. You know, in the old days, we'd have a fill valve like this that had a, a bent brass rod with a big float oh, right there. Yeah. You might remember. And yeah, you'd bend ball. the rod and everything else. And they've, they've lost favor because it was hard to get that rod to sort of be just right. So now the modern ones have the float built in. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you adjust that? Well, these, I could oh. just make it be whatever height I want it to be. Oh, just okay. sort of adjustable. Because this is the float right here. With this one, we can just loosen or close this, this thread right here to make the float be right. Yep. But you need the right water level here. It has to leave at the right speed. And then when you're done, everything has to close off tight. Saving leaks once again. That's a go. Nice job, Richard. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.